this is common. Our daughters need it. And it's common that our daughters are not receiving it. So this is super important. I hope you got your notebook. I hope you got your pencil, got your iPhone, your screen record, whatever you need. So you can get these tips. Stay tuned. First impression. channel it is evolved with v if you are new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button click the notification button so you can be notified when i upload if you are not new to my channel thank you so much for coming back i love when y'all come back to my videos that lets me know i'm giving y'all what y'all like so as you know for the month of may it is all about my mommies this month so this is another mommy video you already seen the title so before we get into it, this top is actually from vivagore.com, my online boutique. It is a part of my under $20 collection. I will leave the description, not the description, I will leave link this top in the description box, but I'll also give you a picture right here of what the shirt looks like. So that top is officially under $20 in my under $20 collection. So go shop. It's only a limited amount of these left in stock too, so... Go ahead and get yours now for your spring and summer. I'm going to be giving you mommies six tips on how to raise your daughter's self-esteem. So as you all know, if you watch my previous videos, I don't give tips and tools in specific orders. But they all are just as important from the first to the middle to the last. So starting with number one, be your daughter's biggest cheerleader. Yes, be her biggest cheerleader. Root her on everything that she is doing, everything that she wants to do. Her ideas, her dreams, even if you don't understand it, because sometimes our daughters can tell us something that they desire to have or desire to be, and we just be like, like, why? <laughs> but that's what we have in our mind. Don't ask that like that. Be her cheerleader. Root for her. Root her on for whatever it is that she wants to do, her ideas and her dreams and her goals. Cheer her on. Even if you do not understand it, your support matters. That's what matters is your support. Number two, listen to her. Cut out all the back and forth talking and just listen to her. I'm going to read a scripture from James Verse 1, chapter 19, chapter 1, verse 19. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Okay, it's on my computer, so I'm going to look at my computer. I'm going to read it to you. Be slow to speak and only after having first listened quietly so that you may understand the meaning, meetings, and wishes of those who do speak. Thus, you will better know when to speak and when to be silent. Simple form, everything does not need a response. Okay, listen. Listen to what they're saying, the person. In this particular video, we're talking about our daughters. Listen to what she's saying, how she's saying it, her tone. Is she sad? Is she angry? Is she shy? Did she feel, is she speaking to what, to the point where you feel like she's holding back some stuff? and Or is she speaking too, too, you know, vomiting at the mouth where it's just all pouring out and it sounds like it was all bottled up? Listen, just listen, child. <laughs> seriously it's so important to listen and that way when you listen and you understand where she's coming from although you may not understand what she's saying but understanding where she's coming from where is that tone coming from where where is this anger stemming from the sadness or the shyness you know where so listen to her and watch her body language as she is pouring out to you whatever it is that she's spilling to you so that way you'll know how to receive it and know how to respond to it which leads me to my point number three respond supportively she just had a vulnerable moment okay don't jump in into teaching mode don't jump into right or wrong jump in and be supportive okay respond supportively okay let her know you heard what she said try to repeat what she said so she can know that you did hear what she said and try to i would say elaborate on some of the things that she mentioned that way she can know that you understand how she feel are y'all picking this up mummies are y'all picking this up i really hope you are this is so important with raising our daughter's self-esteem okay this is so important so when she just pour her heart out to you be be a listener and respond supportively to what she's saying and how she's feeling 
And whatever decision it is that she has made or she wants to make, even if you don't understand it, like I said, at least give her the pros and cons of those decisions or those options. Whatever it is that she's weighing out, help her discern if this decision is right for her by giving her the pros and cons. But overall, just assure her that you're there. No matter what route she takes, you are there, mom. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Number four on how to raise your daughter's self-esteem is teaching her self-care. Teach her self-care. The same way you take care of your hair, you take care of your nails, you take care of your body, you take care of even your private area, okay? You take care of that. Teach her self-care, okay? The things that you're doing, and make sure it's age-appropriate, obviously. You're not going to teach a five-year-old about tampons and pads, but... Teaching a five-year-old or even a four-year-old about the proper way to wipe, the proper way to to sit like a lady, to treat yourself like a lady. There's no age requirement on when you should start teaching your daughter about self-care. Teach her the importance of loving herself. Self-care is simply caring for yourself and loving for yourself. Teach her that so that way she don't have to rely on anyone else to take care of her or, or to show her how to love herself because mommy already showed me this and I already know how to do this. So anything that anyone else does for her in the future will just be an add-on, will just be a bonus, you know? Number five, be affectionate. Now when I say be affectionate, Yes, I mean the love, the hugs, the kisses, and the cuddles, all of that good stuff. Yes, it is important. But in this particular tip, being affectionate, I'm speaking on showing interest in her life. Be affectionate with the things that she likes to do. Care for the things that she care for, too. And like I said, even if we don't understand it, because we're not going to understand our children all the time. We're not going to understand the decisions that they make, or we're not going to understand why they want to do the things that they want to do. But being supportive is very, very important coming from a mom. So being affectionate is extremely important by showing interest in the things that she likes to do and the things that she wants to do. Showing her that you care, that you care just as much as she care about whatever it is that she wants to do. And number six, one of my all-time favorites, practice affirmations. This is so important when you are raising, helping raising your daughter's self-esteem because you are teaching her how to affirm her own beliefs and morals and values within herself and applying that to herself. Speak positively about herself and not wait on someone else to speak that on her. Simply saying, I look beautiful, I'm smart, I'm brilliant, I'm creative, I'm unique. Say it to her loudly every day, every day, okay? I'll be around my house with Queen, and I'll be simply saying, like, Queen, you are so beautiful. You know that? Or I'll just be looking at her, and she'll be like, Mommy, what is you looking at? And I'll say, just how beautiful you are. Do you know how beautiful you are? And she'll be like, yes. Just little things like that. It's just extremely important. As much as it doesn't seem important right now, it is important because you want to make sure you are instilling all of that into her now so when she does get older and when she do start to show interest in a love life, puppy love, or even adult love, she doesn't have to wait for anyone else to whisper this stuff to her. She doesn't have to wait until a guy says these sweet nothings in her ear and then she starts to believe in herself. It started with mommy. Tell her this stuff frequently. Tell her her dreams will come true. Tell her the things that she want to do will happen. The goals that she set and she will reach them. Even if she don't reach that goal at that deadline or whatever the case may be, reaffirm her that, reassure her that it will happen in God's timing. So you want to make sure that you are constantly feeding her these, these affirmational words and also having her feed it to herself. I literally have my children stand in the mirror sometimes and this could be either when I'm doing my daughter's hair or this could be when my son is brushing his hair and I'm in the bathroom with them and we're grooming ourselves. I would say like, y'all, let's say this all together. I look beautiful. I look handsome in my son's case. I am smart. I am unique. I am creative. You know, I am smart. I am brilliant. You know, I could be whatever I want to be. I am going to be whatever I want to be. I can do all things. You know, like, look, listen, it starts with us moms. It starts with us. Okay. It starts in the home. And that's it. That is my six 
tips on how to build your daughter's self-esteem. Moms, I really hope that you found value in this video. I hope that you take these six tips and you apply them to your relationship with your daughter. Help build her self-esteem. It starts with us and it starts in the home. Do not let your daughter get older and older and older without applying these tips and then she has to find these, these tips from someone else. Someone else, her friends or her friend's parents or her, her boyfriend. Do not let anyone from the outside of the home teach her something that you could have taught her in the home. These tips are so important when it comes to our baby girls. We want to build their self-esteem so they can grow up and they can be confident in who they are and confident in the decisions that they make and most importantly know that mommy is supportive of everything that she do and no matter what, if she fail or succeed, mommy is going to be right there to catch her or to root for her. Okay? <laughs> That's it, ladies. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you, ladies, in the next video. Bye! First impression.